Right line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today's show is really something special. We're out here on a Sunday morning for the Sorrento Boucherie 2017 Festival. We got a jambalaya cook-off, we got crackling cook-off, we got good food, we got good music, we got all kind of good fun. They got some neat stuff going on here today, so y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it over to one of the cooks, Mr. Zip Meyer, who won the Champ of Champs Friday. Now, uh, let's introduce your helper. Carter Williams. From? Santa Monica. And Zip, where are you from? I'm from Santa Monica. All right, all right. With that last name, Mar, I was figuring that anyway. <laughs> now, uh, so you automatically made it into the finals. Yeah, I kind of got through the back door, so to speak. Uh, you win the champ of champs, it's an automatic berth into the finals. So uh, that was kind of neat, my first time doing it. So I'm kind of happy on that fact. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, did you have a real good crackling? When, you know, when you finished that crackling Friday, did you know it was a? No, I, I was, <laughs> that's the thing. It's, it's, the time I won, I didn't think I had good Krakens, and this time I didn't think I had good Krakens. But it all boils down to who has the best that particular day. I mean, right. anybody can beat anybody on any given day, so to speak. Some of these cooks, they're really good, and uh, that's, that's just how it goes. Now, you're crackling, you know, what did you learn Friday that's going to help you in this event today? You know, did, 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 you, did, you, always, did you learn something from that batch? You Maybe always, you always learn a little bit. Uh, there's something you're gonna learn something every time you if cook. You're not learning. You're going backwards. Pretty much. Pretty much. Now, how, uh, how do you feel so far about what you got going this morning? Uh, Is it a good crackling? It's a little iffy. Uh, I kind of waited too long to stir it a couple times, and I don't like what happens when that does. But uh, hopefully it'll work out for the best, and gotcha. you've got to keep it going. Got to get this. Got to melt it down right now. That's what we're working on, getting the, getting the fat out. Melting it down. All right, y'all. I'm going to wish you good luck and congratulations on the Champa Champ. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, y'all. Made it over to one of the Jambalaya cooks. Y'all all know Mr. Hoss Rain. How's it going? All right. How you doing? Now, you've won the Jambalaya Festival twice. Yeah. 20, 2014 and 2016. And you won Papa George this oh, year. This year, yeah. Now, this man can cook Jambalaya, y'all. Uh, really, really good Jambalaya. As a matter of fact, uh, you cooked in the heat yesterday in the second heat, right? And no, uh, yesterday morning, first heat. In the morning? Yeah. Now, uh, how'd you feel about that jambalaya when you turned it in? You know, no, I turned, I turned it in. I felt, I felt I had a good jambalaya. It was, uh, it tasted good. Had some pretty rice. Had a good color. Had, going. A, oh, had a good color. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> now, uh, is it any different today? Would it be any different with the rain or the humidity? Maybe with the rice a little? Um, I don't think it'll be any different. No. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> now. Uh, so if you win this one, the only one left will be the Swamp Pop to win. Uh, swamp, yeah. Swamp so we got pop. goals we shooting for <laughs> yeah, here, we yeah. Shoot, we shooting for them, yeah. Well, good, bro. Well, good talking to you this morning, and uh, good luck to you. Oh, thank you. I'll take all the luck I can get. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> all right, y'all made it over to the Jambalaya Cooks, and they got about 15 minutes or less before they turn it in. And uh, something you might not know about the Jambalaya cooking uh, is they don't turn in the meat, you know. They want that meat flavor in the rice so that's as they're uh plating it up for the judges you don't they're not judging the meat at all you want the flavor in the rice so as as you see the teams getting together and and, and uh loading their plates up for the judging they'll take the meat out that and, and 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 the judges won't even eat the meat while they're tasting it so you're looking for the color of the rice you're looking for the texture of the rice and you're looking for the flavor of the rice so your rice should have the meat flavor in it the brown paper bag color 
and then the awesome texture of the popped rice. So that's what they're looking for. We're getting down to crunch time, y'all. They're plating it up now. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right, y'all, we made it into the judging room, and uh, it usually gets quiet like a doctor's office in here because everybody's studying the jambalayas. As you can see around, they all all of these look really nice. This is the professionals here. This is the, the best 13 out of the whole Boucherie Festival, and they're getting judged on appearance, the rice texture, the overall flavor, and the meat flavor. And I'm going to tell you, looking at these jambalayas, they got their work cut out for them, but if anybody can do it, the Jambalaya Festival Association can. So here it is, y'all, the best of the best. We're going to see who wins. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hole in the Wall Seafood is back open and better than ever with South Louisiana's cleanest and best tasting crawfish. Now offering catering and on-site crawfish and shrimp balls. Or just stop by to get live and balled crawfish, fresh and balled shrimp, blue crabs and local caught catfish, and your favorite corn potatoes and sausage. But don't forget those cracklings you've come to love. Hole in the Wild Seafood, where quality matters. Miss D's Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Vassery Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaseline Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaseline Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Ralph's Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, all cut cheese, and 
sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. It's time to get hog wild. That's right, the Couchon Delay is just around the corner. Sunday, March 18th at Lutcher Park. Come out and experience the Old School Pig Roast, sponsored by the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. This event has been going on for generations, and it's all for a good cause. The Crackling Cook-Off starts early in the morning, and the food is ready before lunch. Dirty rice, chicken, pork, hoghead cheese, burgers, hot sausage, and a sweet food, just to name a few, with a washboard tournament, live band, and auction to keep the fun rolling. And don't forget about the drive through food pickup. See you at Lutcher Park, March 18th. It's crawfish time again. That's right, it's time for the South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest Festival. Benefiting dreams come true of Louisiana on Saturday, April 7th at Lamar Dixon Expo Center is where all the fun will happen. This year, there are four cooking contests. Crawfish, jambalaya, cracklings, and a mini pot jambalaya. With over 200 indoor craft booths, a car show, petting zoo, kids fishing rodeo, and big name bands all day. And new this year, a scavenger hunt. Come out this year and help make some children's dream come true. All right, y'all, we made it over to Huey. You got it going on, bro. I'm trying to make it go on. <laughs> now, when you when you bring that temperature back up, what temperature is that at? Uh, about 390. 390. 390. And then you dumped out, you throw the ice in there on it. Yeah. Twice. Yeah, I did it twice. Twice. I just was experimenting. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Well, good time to do it in this the finals, like, you this know. This is only like the third time I've ever cooked crackling. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, we know that. Yeah, that dude been cooking cracklings forever, y'all. He he is good. That's why he's in the finals. He makes a good crackling. But uh, what they doing now is they preparing the pot for another batch. They just pulled those out that they popped with the ice. Now what he's gonna do next is take another batch of cracklings. He'll dump them in there. Now yep. what? He's got good temperature. He's gonna dump them in there. Now you don't throw the ice right in. No, but you can. I did it yesterday. Yeah. I did it yesterday like that. And the ice is in. The ice is in. Yeah. It just, it flashes and it makes it actually, the, the surface temperature of the grease is hotter whenever you put ice. Okay. Okay. So he threw the ice in there, get them all popped up at the high temperature. Now that blisters them all the way down. That's the crackling part of the crackling. Now we don't know if he's going to throw another cube in there or not. Absolutely. And he's gonna throw another one in, so we're gonna catch it one more time. Throw and uh, you can't stand too close whenever the cubes are going in, because it's spitting the grease back. He's up hot, and you can see that 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 oil is almost smoking right there. So it's good and good and hot. What temperature you were at? About 360. It'll start smoking. Uh huh. Right now, I put that ice in there, so it dropped down to about 375, okay. something like that. And it's gonna come right back up, and you're gonna drop another one in. That's the whole key to getting the blister. Yep. And well, you 
That'll yeah, get the blister, but I mean, you got to you got to get the color too. Right. That's, oh. that's why I'm waiting. Okay. I'm trying okay. to get them to, to darken a little bit more. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the hot grease is not only for the blistering; it's for the color too. Right. So your color didn't really come in in the first phase. So here he goes. Not bad. Gotcha. They're gotcha. Not bad. That's a pretty looking crackling he's got in there. Here's another ice shot, and here goes the sound effects right here. There it is, y'all. That's crackling cooking right there. So they're dropping them in, then they're going to pick through, pick their best cracklings out. they got to turn them in at 11. We're going to see who the champion is. All right, y'all, we made it inside, and we got two good cooks right here. Mr. Corey Tomplay, how's it going? How you doing, man? What all you got in there? It's a gumbo. Gumbo, chicken and sausage. It, the smell coming out of the yard is incredible. That's all. Hundreds of pounds of sausage, what you got in there? Uh, 25 pounds of sausage and 60 pounds of chicken. Well, you sure got it smelling good. And you over here by the man, Mr. Wally. Mr. Wally Italian is cooking the white beans. Usually we see you cooking jambalaya, Mr. Wally. Yep, yep, usually jambalaya, but I've been doing beans for the last two or three days over here, so everything's good. You got a big pile of beans and you're also cooking the rice, too. Yeah, I did the white rice and uh, my man doing the gumbo, so, and we got the jambalaya contest, crackling contest, and everything good. Now, it's I'll tell you what, when it comes to rice, I don't think there's anybody better in Ascension Parish that can cook rice than Mr. Wally right here. Well, I so. appreciate it, man. And you know how much we help. Jumalai Festival helps the boucherie. Boucherie helps us. We help you put on your crawfish deal. So it's all about helping each other, man. It's all, all a good deal. And, and that's how these charity events come together. You know, everybody don't know the boucheries for charity. And, you know, and, and it's, it takes a bunch of people to come together and to make stuff like this. So. Mr. Wally, thank you for Appreciate what you do, it, and I can't wait to have some of them white beans. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, y'all, made it over to here to the ladies who's got it really going on with this pulled pork. Let's get their names and where they from. Teresa Dakota from Gonzales. Brenda Talion from Gonzales. Marcia Moses from Geismer. Now, y'all got y'all's work cut out for y'all right here. Where'd y'all get this pork from? Uh, from Ryan's Grocery in Sorrento. So Ryan cooked it? Yes, he sure did. All right. Now, y'all's process is to debone it, cut it up, and add the barbecue flavor. He's and our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient. They never can tell me the no. secret ingredients. Never. They'd have to kill me if they told me. That's right. That would be a shame. Now, y'all been picking pork for a while. Y'all just about got it? Just about oh, got it. Yeah. Big pan of pork. The, 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 kind of whoa, nice. look at that. The, Isn't that beautiful? The crowd's fixing to come in. Y'all gonna have the pork ready? Yes. Well, thank y'all ladies for what y'all do. Thank You're thank very you. welcome. Thank you. All right, y'all made it over to the pumpkin patch, and I've got some of the Sorrento Lions Club guys here with me, and let's get their names and where they're from. Hey, Ray Prado. Uh, Sorrento, well, I'm from Sorrento here, so uh, Link LeBlanc from uh, right here in Gonzales. Now, we had a little bit of rain out here this weekend, but, man, what a festive activity y'all been having out here. Tell us a little bit about or uh, what's going on today. The, uh, so the rain kind of it, it, it spared us this weekend, so we, uh, we came out good, but... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good turnout. We had a great turnout yesterday. We're looking for a good turnout today. Um, the rain bands came through and we're good. So, um, but uh, you know, we just want to thank, we had a, we had a lot of people that, that, that helped us with this, helped us put this on. It takes a lot of people to put something like this on and all the sponsors and everybody y'all had out right, there. Right. We had, uh, I mean, we had numerous people, uh, LMR, uh, Etel, Microsoft, Veron Sausage, Republic Finance, Ryan's, uh, Guarantee Media helped us out. Jambalaya Festival, man, them, them people helped us out tremendously. Lane's Jeweler, B&B, uh, Shell Pipeline, Tour Ascension. I mean, we just, uh, you know, that's, and that's just the platinum sponsor. But we had a lot of people that really got behind us on this, and it was, it was, it was good. So. And all the cooks have turned in their stuffs, and we're fixing to get to the champions here pretty soon and give some big money. They went in thousands of dollars. That's right. Uh, I'd like to thank all the cooks for showing up this year. They had a great time. I walk around every 30 minutes, check on and see how they're doing. Everyone were just had a blast. So, yeah. And that's what it seemed like to me. Every, it was a festive activity, and it was a little bit hotter. The temperature has changed now right. since the rain's come through. So we got some big bands coming up. Yeah. We're going to crown some champions. That's right. It's only getting better, y'all. All right, y'all. I found the best thing at the event. I got the new Boucherie Queens. Let's get their names and where they're from. My name is Macy Morris. I'm your 2017 Teen Boucherie, and I'm from Sorrento. 
Hey y'all, I'm Taylor Alvarez. I'm your 2017 Miss Boucherie Queen, and I am from Sorrento, the Boucherie capital of the world. Wow, that's neat. Y'all both from Sorrento. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, have y'all been having fun out here at the festival? Absolutely. It's so nice to see how the community comes together and we can listen to the band and enjoy all the fun inflatables. Now, since y'all queens, y'all got some things that y'all are going to have to do being queens. What are some of them? One of the biggest things that we do is raise money for the Lions Club and their charities. They have the Lions Eye Foundation and the Tri Crippled Children's Camp. So that's been a really, a really cool thing to see the community come out and donate to those good causes. Now I'm going to have to ask y'all, uh, what's your favorite, jambalaya or cracklings? Um, I don't know. That's really tough, but probably crackling. And you? I'm, I'm very partial to our 2016 uh, crackling champion, Mr. Snook. I grew up with him and his family, so I love his cracklings. Well, thank y'all ladies for stopping and talking with me, and uh, don't eat too many cracklings. We'll try. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hole in the Wall Seafood is back open and better than ever with South Louisiana's cleanest and best tasting crawfish. Now offering catering and on-site crawfish and shrimp balls. Or just stop by to get live and balled crawfish, fresh and balled shrimp, blue crabs, and local caught catfish. And your favorite, corn, potatoes, and sausage. But don't forget those cracklings you've come to love. Hole in the Wild Seafood, where quality matters. Miss D's Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Vaseline Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaseline Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaseline Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Ralph's Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel.
It's time to get hog wild. That's right, the Couchon Delay is just around the corner. Sunday, March 18th at Lutcher Park. Come out and experience the Old School Pig Roast, sponsored by the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. This event has been going on for generations, and it's all for a good cause. The crackling cook-off starts early in the morning, and the food is ready before lunch. Dirty rice, chicken, pork, hoghead cheese, burgers, hot sausage, and a sweet booth, just to name a few, with a washboard tournament, live band, and auction to keep the fun rolling. And don't forget about the drive through food pickup. See you at Lutcher Park, March 18th. It's crawfish time again. That's right, it's time for the South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest Festival, benefiting dreams come true of Louisiana on Saturday, April 7th at Lamar Dixon Expo Center. is where all the fun will happen. This year, there are four cooking contests, crawfish, jambalaya, cracklings, and a mini pot jambalaya. With over 200 indoor craft booths, a car show, petting zoo, kids fishing rodeo, and big name bands all day. And new this year, a scavenger hunt. Come out this year and help make some children's dream come true. All right, y'all, the cracklings are in. They're all in here. The judging is just starting. And I'm going to tell you what, this, they got their work cut out for them on this. This some really good-looking cracklings in here. Uh, some may be a little darker than others, but they all popped real nice. Uh, the wind come up and changed things a little bit, but uh, the fun's beginning now. So they're going to do the judging. And they're being judged on appearance, tenderness, the amount of grease, the seasoning, and the overall taste. So may the best crackling win. All right, y'all, Mr. Justin Corville, back-to-back -back champs and champ of champs. Who do you want to thank? Well, I guess I'd have to take all my friends, my family, my mama, my daddy, my kids, my wife. Where'd you learn to cook jambalaya? Uh, my, I guess my biggest influence had to be Mr. Wally. Really? Yes, sir. Awesome, yep. bro. Mr. Wally Italian. Well, so. you got it down right now. You on a run, bro. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nook Tribo, back-to-back -back champs. That's really good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Who do you want to thank? Uh, Jambalaya Association. I want this to come back again like it once was. We, we've always had a good time, and that's what we're looking for. We're trying Grow to get it bigger this, and bigger. Bigger and bigger, and everything's lovely. Awesome. Good job, and thanks again. Thank you, sir. Hey, everybody. What a fun time out at Lamar Dixon. The 2017 Boucherie Festival. Had a blast. It was really, really fun. As you can see, the ongoing is still going on. Blah, blah, blah. All right, y'all, what a fun time. A real fun time at Lamar Dixon. What a blast. I'm telling you, the 2017 Boucherie Festival was really, really, really fun. We will be back next year. This year, we got a new Jambalaya champ two-time winner we got a new crackling champ two-time winner so we'll see what happens next year but I want to tell y'all check us out on Facebook check us out on YouTube and thank y'all for watching Cajun living and cooking